Hey there, Libra. This is Chronic Joy Tarot. We are here to do your current soul guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and also any soul that is guided here. That is definitely an indication that the message is for you as well. I've been gone for a while. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're returning to my channel, you know that I have kind of just been absent for a few months, all summer, actually. Um, it's been crazy. I am happy to be back. I've been doing like personal readings. I have my regular day gig. I've got three ki three kids, you know, three, two teenagers and one adult child, but we've all been here at my place this summer. It's been a little crowded. That's why I'm in a new setting because my regular space that I do my readings um, is being occupied. And so here I am with my little makeshift um, <laughs> space. I hope it works out. I'm sitting kind of across from the camera. Usually I'm near it. So here is the card that we pulled for you, Libra. This is the Spirit Keeper of the West. This is comes from the deck Na Native Spirit by Denise Lynn. It's an oracle deck. And the indication of this oracle card, it's all about transformation. Let go of the old, step into the new, like, you know, a feeling of harvest. Um, you know, if, if just trust yourself, trust your intuition. Um, and maybe if you're finding yourself in some chaos or some stuck places, that's good because it's bringing about change. You know, it's almost like pushing forward ahead of what is um, and, and changing it. You know, chaos brings positive change. And trust yourself, though, in every step. If something feels good, go toward it. If it doesn't feel good, don't go ahead. Don't don't move toward it. Um, your, you know, the West is sort of in, in the medicine wheel in Native traditions. The West is the direction that symbolizing, like, that symbolizes, like, the setting sun. Um, time of harvest, you know. Um... So let's see what we can harvest here in this reading. Let's see what we can create out of, uh, out of what we've got. Okay, the tree spread here is what we're using. This is the space that you're in now. We have the trunk that moves us forward to the next level of awareness. Okay, so Libra. Oh, yep. Oh. Okay, ooh. Wow, that's transformation right there. That's what we said this card was. These are three major arcana. You have some huge energies on your side right now, Libra. This is, and I mean power, self-power, knowledge, wisdom, strength. This is, I don't know if I've ever seen this much power in one, one line here before. Usually it's mixed with, you know, some mental or some, you know, some air energy or um, emotions, but yours is like pivot, pivot, pivot. You're ready to make changes. You're ready to transform. This could be a, on a soul level, and I'm getting a sense that a lot of it, um, the majority of you, it is. It's a, it's a transformation of your soul, um, moving to the next level of awareness, moving to that more closer to enlightenment. But it could also mean... Um, just a determination and a, and a moving toward a goal. However, it will require you to be aligned with your soul in order to get to the goal. So I think it's all really, really about your inner world. It's about your soul. Starting with this um, present card, the aloneness card, whatever it is that you want to see change, you have the power to do it. You alone. Your, your, your full embodied presence is all it takes. And you are, you're so powerful right now, Libra. This is, this is a big time. So I don't know what you've got, um, you know, on the horizon or what you have in mind, uh, what plans you have made, but you're on the right track. It's coming. You're, you're making it happen. Underneath and um, internally, you're supported by this energy of the master, which means within you, you kind of already know you got this. You know, you know what I mean? It's like you don't even have to seek advice. You don't have to talk to anyone because you got it. And this is a highly intuitive card. 
and it's on your internal um, plane. So you got this. Just trust it. Trust your gut. Remember when we said earlier, you know, as far as the the Oracle card, it's like gather your inner resources. You know, if it doesn't feel right, don't move forward. If it does, trust your heart. This That's what this energy is here. You already know you got it. And then in your external world, what does that bring? Major transformation, right? You're ready to make these moves. Now, like I said, if this is an aspect of yourself that you're transforming, like perhaps you want to be more present in your interpersonal relationships and you feel that you're only, you know, halfway there, halfway present at any given time because you got work on your mind or when you're at work, you got kids on your mind or however that goes. You're, you're, maybe this is what you're trying to seamlessly move through is a full presence wherever you are. Well, you have, it's going to come powerfully and you already have what it takes to get there. It's, you have every energy all the guides are with you and your inner world is lining up for it so more power to you Libra even though you do not need it <laughs> you're, you're on your way okay and then going on your way it's this is the key to moving toward oh look at that beautiful so it is lit up for you the path is lit up to whatever it is you want to achieve it's beautiful ahead you are um, you're you're feeling very hopeful, very excited about these this new condition or this new situation or the new way of being. It's and you have every reason to feel that way. Um, staying present in the very moment you're in will make the journey more enjoyable. Because on your way to getting there, you're gonna have you're gonna milk the fun, you're gonna milk the joy every step of the way. If you can, if you can achieve that sort of full presence and, and really, um, <laughs> wow, really um, grab hold of each moment and enjoy your path, enjoy every step that you take, you succeed. Look at more major arcana. My goodness, Libra. I mean, this, I don't know if I've ever seen... Let's see what this one is. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll show you later. <laughs> this one's good too. But these, all these major arcana here, you're in a pivotal time. You're in control of all the energies that you put forward into anything at any given time anyway. But right now, you're, it's like it's turbocharged. Your energy is focused, determined, willing, successful. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're just on it. You're so on it. And intuitively i've got one two three cards that talk that um indicate to me that your intuition is and plus four plus this one are your intuition is the way and you're getting this more and more and more a lot of us you know we know it by sort of concept that we can trust our gut but you are mastering it you're mastering it i've got you know sit in silence and meditate to allow your intuition to shine through I've got this master card that connects you directly to spirit by using all that you've gained and all you know, using your intuition. And then this completion card with this puzzle piece, the last piece to be put into place is the third eye. So this, I'm not sure, I wanna kinda of talk to some of you and find out what, what your trick is because you've got the major, major energies um, propelling you into whatever it is you want whatever it is you want. And the key, like I said, is staying in alignment. And look at this, at the, at, after all this excitement and movement and shifting and major arcana and moving toward adventure, in your external world, some people may not even notice it. They might just think, oh, there you go, Libra. Business as usual, because this is the ordinariness card. This is like day to day. I'm just in my pace. I'm in the same space. It's fine. Everything's, you know... So it may not look like it on the outside to others, but you got some major, major stuff going on inside. And it's beautiful, it's wonderful. You're creating exactly and whatever you want to create. And then the outcome and the insight into this whole card ties back into the first oracle, which is turning in. This is an emotion card. So finally you get to have some deep feels <laughs> over all this movement, right? Transformation, change, setting your target where you want it to go, 
completing your goals and then resting in the knowledge that you know you are the creator of your experience you you did it and you can you can enjoy that um see even with this card all the little spirits go around her i don't know if you can see those little like dark spirits around her she's able to rest in the center of it so even though there might be turmoil going on around you you seek this change you you set after it you complete it you achieve it and you can still rest even though there might be chaos around you right you can still you can just soak it in soak it in trust your feelings this card is about your deep deep feelings trust them tune into them and let the energies just take you on your path i am i want this reading <laughs> i want this one libra um i wish this was the leo reading <laughs> no i'm just teasing um wonderful i really want to hear from some of you um you don't have to give me details but share with me if you're on this path if this is how you see things laying out if you're feeling that boost of energy if you're feeling that support from spirit um and if you're really maybe trying something new by trusting your gut and your feelings instead of your mental energies maybe you um you know are more of a logistics type of person that trust that you know relies on your intellect and your logic and lately you've been just been like like someone says something let's go get an ice cream no i don't want to <laughs> even though who doesn't want ice cream you know but you're like yeah no not a good thing and then you go and you find out the ice cream shop's closed or somebody else goes you don't go and the ice cream shop's closed anyway or whatever do you know what i mean like you, whatever, whatever your instinct is guiding you to say and do, do it, like follow it because it's all just waiting for, it's all waiting to unfold for you. I love, love this reading for you, Libra. It's beautiful. Okay. That's going to do it for now. I'm hoping very much so that I'm back on track here. I keep saying it. And then it was almost like the more I say I'm busy, the worse it gets. So I'm going to say I have plenty of time and I love how balanced my life is and I can't wait to do the next reading in a timely manner. How about that? Okay. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.